It's about 10.30 and I got my apples in candy in the hot water bath. Six pints and a half. My apples are all canned. They came out looking really good. I got the jars washed off and labeled so they're ready to go in the pantry. Got six and a half pints. We're here at the hospital in Charleston. This is September the 2nd, Wednesday. Larry's going in to get Stephanie. She had some surgery yesterday to make her feel better. She had pretty female problems. I'm gonna take her home. Nice hospital. This is right next to the cancer center where Larry goes. Larry picked more green peppers this morning. He's cleaning them for me while I was cleaning up the kitchen. We got 16. Those will be good this winter, or even later this week. I was cooking eggs to make egg salad for lunch, and one of our little eggs did double yolk. That was a surprise. We took all the netting off the grapes this morning, put it away. So Larry's mowing under them now. He's not been able to mow there all summer with the nets down there on the ground. So I'm going to be going over to Betty's in a few minutes. This is September 5th. Just drinking. I'm here at Betty's and we're watching our hummingbirds drink. She had one a little bit ago that was acting crazy like the one I had at my house with his head all over sideways and his tail feathers out. Larry said he saw a five foot rat snake here by the chicken coop. He's out there trying to get it. You don't know if he shot, he don't know if he got it or not. Chickens are all in the coop. It wasn't that hollow tree? He's up in that rotten tree somewhere. He might be he must be up in there. Would he kill a chicken? Probably a big two five foot. I'll never get him. That's where he went. Can you just shoot there in that rotten part again? He could be all the way up in there. It's rotten oh. all the way up. Oh, is it? Yeah. I only got one shell left. This is Sunday, September the 6th, and we've been watching our regular church services, the three of them. They're all worth the time. I made a meatloaf in the crock pot for the first time, so this is what we're having for Sunday dinner. Meatloaf, and we got salad, and the big potatoes will be done in a minute or two. Larry brought me out here to show me something. We're here by the tree stump. There's the greenhouse there. But, chicken left us an egg out here. We don't know how it got out and when it went back, but there was an egg. We were going out by the fig tree this morning and looked up and saw it was ripe figs on the tree again. We weren't expecting any more this season, so it, yeah, there's nine now because I ate one. This is the end of Labor Day. There's a pretty pink cloud. I don't know if you can see it down there and up behind the trees. But to Labor Day, we didn't labor any today at all. We just took it pretty easy. It's been a pretty quiet day. I got a craving for cookies, so I made chocolate chip and white chocolate chip. I had 12 of the chocolate and 9 of the white, but uh, Larry and I have been working on them, so this is all that's left. Larry used a pump on the water on top of the pool cover, got a lot of it off. Betty and I went shopping today at Rose's, and I'll show you what I got. This is the pretty picture I got at Rose's to hang over the fireplace. I thought it was so pretty, and it's sparkly. I don't know if you can tell, but the leaves have sparkles in them. There. I thought it would be really pretty over the fireplace, but the picture is bigger than the fireplace mantle. It won't fit. It's, it's just too big. I tried it on a couple of different walls here in the house, and it was still too big, so I'm going to have to take it back. 
This is Wednesday the 9th, and I brought Betty up here to the dermatologist. He's going to check her leg and see what needs done to it. We got here early because we left early, but we weren't sure what traffic would be like, and it was pretty good. While I'm sitting here in a car waiting on Betty, I caught up on my Bible reading. Well, I really got ahead in Jeremiah. And after I finished that, I found this little piece of paper here in my car I've had for over 10 years. We're near the hospital. Anyway, I found this piece of paper here in my car I've had for over 10 years, and it's got all the books of the New Testament, and I try to memorize them. You know, I memorized them, then I forget, and then I memorize them again. So they're kind of divided so it's easy to do. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, First and Second Corinthians, and Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, they kind of all go together. And First and Second Thessalonians, First and Second Timothy and Titus, those are all T's. Then we got Philemon, Hebrew, and James. And Hebrew is kind of the big book, so it's Philemon before Hebrews and James afterwards. Then First and Second Peter, and then First, Second, and Third John, Jude, and Revelation. And we used to sing a little chorus that ended. It was the sang all of the the, the uh, books of the New Testament. And it ended with three John, Jude, and Revelation, so I can always remember those three. Just got to remember Peter. So that's how I spend my time here while I'm waiting on Betty. Plus, I ate a Snickers bar. I'm glad it wasn't raining like this when we took Betty to the doctor this morning. When we drove up and back, it was nice and dry. And the doctor said um, he froze the places on her legs off and it wasn't anything serious. So that was good news because we thought it was serious, but it's not. And it's taken care of. Larry picked seven green peppers today, and I've got two and three-fourths cups there all chopped ready to freeze. Well, that'll be nice to have those in the freezer. We're getting closer to Tammy's. We're on the dirt road now. This is Thursday afternoon. She's got some pint candy jars for me. We've got uh, 18 eggs and a watermelon for her. Michael and Tammy are good builders. Look what they built here by their pool. It's safe. <laughs> Come out now. I had to put the dog up. Rowdy wasn't very welcoming. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, just... Not much shade, but a little bit in the afternoon. Just enough for two people. That's all we need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, cool. A little bit of shade. I didn't want to do a lot, but I ended up doing a very little bit. Oh, so I do anything. <laughs> I stay outside 15 minutes, come in, I'm soaking wet. <laughs> it's like me now. I can't breathe. It's so hot. You're going to get most of it cleaned up now, too, don't you? Larry's going to town. He's going to meet Steffi. She's got some more goodies for us. Tammy and Michael gave us all these grapes yesterday. So I got out my recipe on how to can grape juice. I got the grapes all canned and I had six quarts. So that'll make good grape juice this winter. One of our chickens is working overtime. Look how big that one egg there on the bottom left is. It's huge compared to the others. What's going on now? Just getting ready to do the next batch. Next batch of what? I'm going to can oranges. I got the carrots and the potatoes done. Here's the oranges. Getting ready to wash the jars and sterilize them. This one's already been washed, but I got to sterilize it. Now in the back is sugar water to put on the oranges. I guess we do apples tomorrow. Yeah. Look again. I'm putting the light syrup on the oranges. I already sterilized the jars.
leave a half inch of head space. This is everything I canned yesterday on 9-11. Uh, Stephanie gave us a bunch of food again, more than we could eat, so I just canned it. We got uh, 13 little jars of oranges. I don't know if you can see them. I've never canned oranges before, but I learned how from watching Whippoorwill, Whippoorwill Hollow. So I did that, and then I had three pints of carrots and five quarts. We like the dry canned potatoes, so did five more quarts of potatoes. And this morning I finished up the apples. I had to peel them and let them set overnight and then can them this morning. So there's seven pints of apples. So we're feeling lots of good food that's going to be coming up. That's the peelings off the oranges. I'm going to make some orange cleaner with it. That's still things to do. Yeah, we've set the uh, canner of hot water out here yesterday when I was done canning to let it cool down. And Larry just now took the lid off to dump it out. And there's a frog in it. Larry took it out to dump it out and there's the frog. I'm gonna let him loose. Dump the water. It's Sunday morning again and time for church. I made a homemade pizza for our Sunday lunch. Got onions and green peppers and black olives and pepperoni and cheese. I couldn't find Pastor Jim at 10 o'clock, but I found him at 1. This is Monday the 14th, and we've been out here pick, putting up fencing for the chickens to enlarge their area. And we got the Larry put hooks there in the building just to hook it around so it makes a gate so he can go in and out. That's it. And we got we fenced in this whole blueberry area so they can clean out under it. It goes on the back side of the wood pile. There's our sweet potatoes and tomatoes. And here's goes from this corner over to the fence. We didn't want them getting near the neighbors, so we moved the fence in here. And that's another pretty big area for him. He's going to open up the back area back here so they can come through behind the building. Supposed to be 90 again today. It's hot and humid already. And the time is just 9.34. There's one chicken up there eating. We put a little corn in for him. And now he's calling the other chickens to try to get them to come into this area. They didn't want to follow me in. Now oh, there's Henrietta. I put a pile of corn up there too and she's getting it. Got it all to herself. This is Tuesday and we're here in town. Larry's bringing the truck in so he can get the oil changed before we go to North Carolina. We dropped off the truck and now we're sitting here in the car having breakfast at Hardy's. It's been a while since we had breakfast at Hardy's. This is Tuesday and I'm here at Betty's. We've been getting ready to for her to go to North Carolina with us and we got the saw horses and everything caught, cleaned off the carport. <laughs> Guess I'll see you Saturday. <laughs> Bye. That's our friend Deco. Uh, he came, we asked him to take care of the chickens while we're in North Carolina and he's going to do it. So that'll be a big help to us. We don't have to worry about him. He used to walk with Bonnie and I in the mornings, but now he goes to the gym at 4 a.m. instead. 
It's 7.30 and time to be in my video for another two weeks. The days are starting to get a little shorter. Hope you all having a good day. Good two weeks. Good September. Good night. God bless.